school was never that interesting for me until I'd found shop class where they would give me a goal to achieve and leave me alone, answer my questions. I could just experiment and build things. Started working for myself and then my artistic sensibilities and just my general nature is I want to do something a little bit different than the mainstream, just a little. Well, I got into slot racing as a kid because you see it on TV, it's the 60s, there's, we don't have video games, it's slot racing is what video games are now. So my dad built me a little track in the basement, a little oval, and it was flat, it was kind of boring. My 11-year-old self tried to modify it and didn't have a whole lot of success in that, but hey, lots of enthusiasm. I think a lot of the guys that were doing it back in the 60s remembered the joy, remembered the fun. Some friends just decided that they wanted to open up a raceway. They talked me into building the track for them, helping them build the track. They provided the enthusiasm and I provided the mathematics guidance and tried to keep them from fouling up too much. It's just trigonometry, geometry. I was, I was just kind of blessed with the mind that sees geometry and I just naturally, maybe it's the German heritage, I just understand how things fit together. Got the first track built and lo and behold, a guy called me from South Carolina and says, I hear you build slot car tracks. And I said, well, I built one. Could you build one for me? Sure. And then it just grew from there. Between 1990 to 1997, that was all I did. I just built slot car tracks and delivered them all over the country. Building a track takes anywhere from, depending on size and complexity, it'll take anywhere from four weeks to eight weeks for bigger ones. It's a passionate job. I love it. And I've learned something new every, every time I build one, even after 320 odd tracks. I still learn a little bit about it every time. Best part of the design process is just getting a track where it will flow. Thinking of the rhythm of the way the cars run, because the average lap on a slot car track might be five seconds. So if you get a pleasant rhythm of braking and accelerating in that, and as, as guys race, they kind of bob, they weave, they follow the cars around. It looks like a dance. It actually looks like a dance. And you can actually hit a meditative state as you're running in practice, constantly making just tiny little shifts to your lap rhythm. And I try to make that as pleasant as I possibly can. Sometimes I'll just write a little song in my head that has a refrain that goes along with that particular rhythm. Uh, it might be better if I'd asked the guys what kind of music they like when I design. I'll have to try that. I'll have to try that. So maybe we can say I build blues tracks because that's, that's my favorite at, at this point. I just like sitting back and watching them experience what I've created for them. Those few milliseconds of extra speed they can get out of it, it's just, and they're, wow, that's so subtly different, but it's huge. Guys giggling and laughing and they start pushing the limits on the track and then somebody fouls up and everybody starts falling around and just it peals of laughter. And, Somebody reaches for a beer and try it again. It's uh, just good time. Just a good, just good, clean fun. There, you can't go wrong with slot racing.